Right, so in this video I'm going to have a look at <coughs> quadratic trinomials and factorizing quadratic trinomials. Um, quadratic expressions are expressions like this here where the highest power of x is a 2. Uh, it's a trinomial because you've got three terms. So we're going to look at uh, factorizing this particular expression here and I'm going to do it uh, two ways. Um, so I, first of all I'm just going to uh, factorize it using a standard method uh, by just writing in the two brackets here first of all I'm going to take this term here and I'm going to factorize it as just x times x that's the only way that you can factorize x squared by multiplying x by x then take the 16 here uh, and find all the different factors of 16 you've got 1 times 16 2 times 8 uh, and there's 4 times 4. Now these numbers we're going to put here and here to give us this term here. So let's have a look at these. Uh, 1 times 16, 2 times 8 and 4 times 4 will give us 16. However we want to choose one pair of numbers that will also give us a 6 when we add them together or subtract them. So in other words can we make a 6 from a 1 and a 16? Uh, we can't really. If you take 16 and add 1, you get 17. If you take 16 and subtract 1, you're going to get 15. So we don't get a 6. So this one is not going to work for us in this case. Now 2 and 8. Uh, well, if you take 8 and you add 2, you get 10. If you take 8 and subtract 2, you get a 6. So that one works. 4 doesn't work, 4 times 4, you'll get either an 8 or a 0. So this one here is going to work for us. Now we've got an 8 and a 2, so I'll put 8 here and 2 here. So I think this is going to work. Now what we need here when we multiply the 8 by the 2 is a minus 16. So in other words, the signs in front of the 8 and the 2 must be different. Plus times minus or minus times plus. Now I'm going to put the uh, plus here and the minus here and the reason for that is because I want a plus 6x here so I want the biggest number here to be uh, a plus. Let me just check to see if this works first of all. So if we multiply this x by x we get x squared that's perfect. If we take the plus 8 and multiply it by minus 2 we get minus 16 so that's perfect. Now what about the number in the middle? Well, to check to see if that one works, we multiply these here and we add our answers. So plus 8 times x is plus 8x. Plus x by minus 2 is minus 2x. Add these two together, plus 8 minus 2 gives you plus 6x. This is the number in the middle, so this works x plus 8 multiplied by x minus 2 will give us x squared plus 6x minus 16 or x plus 8 and x minus 2 are factors of x squared plus 6x minus 16. So that's fine. Um, let's just look at a slightly different way of doing this and this method is called the uh, guide number method. The guide number method. Uh, the way this works is uh, you take whatever's in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, which in this case is 1, you take uh, the last term here, which is a minus 16, you multiply the two together and you get minus 16. Now you want two numbers, this is, uh, you want two numbers really um, that will multiply to give us uh, minus 16. You want factors of minus 16 that will also add to give you a plus uh, 6. So two numbers that will multiply to give us minus 16 are uh, plus 8 uh, and minus 2. Plus times minus is minus 8 times 2 uh, 16. So if we multiply these two together, we do get minus 16. So what we do is we take our original expression, which is x squared plus 6x minus 16. And what we do is we take the 6x here in the middle 
and we we divide it up into x squared we're going to divide it up into plus an 8x and a minus 2x we've got our minus 16 here as well so in other words the plus 8 we put an x after it the minus 2 we put an x after it and we um, split the 8x up into a pl uh, plus 6x up into a plus 8x minus 2x so in other words plus 8x minus 2x is exactly the same as plus 6x so this expression here is exactly the same as this expression here now we have what's called a group of four uh, and we did this in a previous video so what we do is we take the first two terms we factorize them <clears throat> there's an x common so what we end up here with is um, x plus 8 x times x is x squared x times plus 8 is plus 8x here we have a minus 2 that's common there's no x common here so if we divide minus 2x by minus 2 we get x divide minus 16 <coughs> excuse me minus 16 by minus 2 we get plus 8 we have the same expression in both brackets so that's perfect and now we just take this x and the minus 2 x minus 2 and we take what's inside both brackets here which is an x plus 8 and this here is our factor these are our factors of our original expression and that's what we got when we did it the first way as well x plus 8 x minus 2 x plus 8 x minus 2 okay so what I'm going to do now is do another example uh, and again I'll do it both ways uh, the difference this time is that I'm going to have a coefficient for the x squared so instead of a 1 as a coefficient which is what I had in the first example for the x squared I'm going to put in a 5 so in this in this particular example our second example here I'm going to do 5 x squared minus 8x minus 4 so I'll do it both ways uh, the first way is just um, draw in your two brackets here and let's factorize it by uh, observation really so let's take the 5x squared here the only way I can factorize 5x squared is to multiply 5x by x now I've got a 4 here at the end so I just look at the 4 and I say well I can do 1 times 4 or I can do 2 times 2 now remember I know both of these are going to work for the mind for the 4 here but I've got to make a minus 8 here by multiplying these two and these two here adding them together to give me a minus 8 well if I use 1 and 4 here let's say uh, a 1 here and a 4 here if I do this and this I'll end up with a 1x and a 20x I can't make a minus 8 out of a 1 and a 20 so that's not going to work so let's say I sw switch those around so let's put the 4 here and the 1 here I'll end up with a 5 and a 4 again I can't get 8 with a 5 and a 4 so that's not going to work so let's try the other two then the other ones are so that, that this one doesn't work so I can't use that so 2 and 2 let's try 2 and 2 here well 2x and here I'll end up with a 10x I can get an 8 10 minus 2 will give me an 8 so that will work so let's just um, let's just try that and see what happens um, now what do I need I need a 2 times a 2 to give me a 4 but I need a minus 4 so I need a plus minus or a minus plus the signs have to be different to give me a minus so <clears throat> I need a minus 8 here so I need the bigger one to be minus 8 so 5 times 2 is 10 that's going to be bigger than 2x so I need a minus here and I'm going to put the plus here so let's see does this work let's just check it out um, 5x times x will give me 5x squared plus times minus will give me minus 2 times 2 will give me 4 so that's fine Pl plus 2 times minus 2 will give me a minus 4 now let's see can we get a minus 8 by multiplying this by this this by this and adding our two answers well plus 2 times x is plus 2x 5x times minus 2 is minus 10x add these two together and I get minus 8x 
this is a minus 8x here so that's perfect now th that's the first way of doing this let's have a look at the um, guide number method so we look at the guide number method here okay so what way did we do this well let's have a look we had a 5x squared minus 8x minus 4 well we took the 5 and the minus 4 we took the 5 and the minus 4 here and we multiply them together if you multiply 5 by 5 times minus 4 here we got minus 20 now we want to find factors of minus 20 that will give us minus 8 when we add them together so one has to be plus one has to be minus um, well factors of 20 are let's see 1 times 20 2 times 10 3 no 4 times 5 these are all the factors of 20 now <coughs> which can we uh, add or which will give us an 8 if well it'll have to be this one here uh, 10 and a 2 we can't get an 8 from a 5 and a 4 whether we add them or subtract them we can't get an 8 from a 20 and a 1 if we add them or, or subtract them so it's 10 and 2 so in actual fact it will be um, let's see a minus 10 and a plus 2 that will give us a minus 8 so a minus 10 and a plus 2 will give us a minus 8 that's perfect so what we do here again is we split this up into a group of four so I'm going to take this as 5x squared that's fine the minus 8x I'm going to split up into minus 10x and a plus 2x so minus 10x plus 2x is minus 8x so this here is exactly the same as minus 8x so I haven't changed this expression yet so this expression here is exactly the same as this expression here. We've just split the, eight, the minus 8x up into minus 10x plus 2x. Now we have a group of 4. So let's factorize these two here first. So we can take out the 5 and we have an x there. That will leave us with an x here and a minus 2 here. Here if we factorize these two we get a plus 2. Uh, here we end up with an x and here we end up with a minus 2 here so 2 times x is 2x 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 5x times x is 5x squared 5x times minus 2 is minus 10x so that's perfect so now we just put these together we've got a 5x plus 2 5x plus 2 and whatever's in the brackets here is an x minus 2 whatever's in the brackets must be the same here and here it is so that's perfect so we end up with 5x plus 2 times x minus 2 5x plus 2 times x minus 2 exactly the same as what we got in our first method so this this here this here uh, gives us two expressions that multiply to give us our original expression so these two here are factors of 5x squared minus 8x minus 4.